Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about what I have behind me. It's a Cowboy Studio 901 10 foot backdrop. And I've got some seamless paper here. This is a 10 foot roll of gray paper. I, I had to set up outside because this thing is so big, I don't have room inside my house to set it up fully extended, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. And I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you the difference between this and some of the cheaper uh, backdrops that are out there on the market. All right, guys, I am back. I didn't wanna spend a lot of time showing you how to set up and take down a backdrop stand because it's fairly self-explanatory, but I will show you a little bit about how this goes together in this video. Uh, the reason why I went with this Cowboy Studio is because it's supposed to be a heavy duty backdrop stand. I wouldn't quite say it's heavy duty, I'd say it's more of a medium duty, but it's a lot better than the cheaper stands that are out on the market. This is one of the backdrop stands here, and this is from the 901 model of the Cowboy Studio backdrops. Here I have one of your cheaper backdrop stands that you can get on like Amazon for about $40 and this set here is about 80 and you can see just from the thickness of the poles this is a much thicker therefore more stable more durable stand so I wanted to spend the extra money and the reason why is because I'm going to be doing a high volume portrait shot uh, setup for a sports league I'm going to have kids coming in and out and you know how kids can be, they bump into things, things like that. I wanted it to be durable. I wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna fall over on them. And so I decided to go with this setup. It's got a larger footprint down at the bottom, which will hopefully add some more stability. I will still go ahead and weight this down just to give it some more weight to it. Um, and obviously I won't have it set up as large as I did in the pictures I'm showing you right now. I just wanted to give you an idea of how large this setup is. It's enormous. Uh, it's 10 feet high, 10 feet wide. One of the other great things about this setup is that, like many, it comes with these nifty inner locking bars. And so you can adjust how wide you want your backdrop to be. So if you don't need the full 10 feet, you just don't put all of the crossbars into place. And if you do want it to be all 10 feet, now that's not a fault of the bar, that's a fault of mine because I can't read where it says to insert this in. There we go. They're actually not that hard to put together, I'm just not real smart. And you just put them all together and then you end up with a 10 foot crossbar section. And then you've got these little holes at the end and they just slide right over the end of the metal bolt and then you tighten the wing nut on them and you're good to go and you put whatever backdrop you want over it there's really no sag with this setup uh, with the cheaper set i got pretty much anything i put on there there was some sag it felt wobbly no matter how high it was and i really didn't like it i didn't feel comfortable having that set up around we're going to have about 400 kids come through in two days and I just didn't feel comfortable with that setup. I didn't feel it was durable enough. I was afraid it was going to break. If anybody bumped it, maybe one of the crossbars might bend completely. It just wasn't a good setup. So I wanted something a little bit better, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I don't use backdrops very often. I really only use them for our high volume sports photography that we do. And even then it's only pretty much two sports that we use it for. Everything else we try to do outdoors with the fields as a backdrop, uh, but we're gonna be indoors and the setup that we're gonna have just, it's not gonna work. So we needed a, a great backdrop for that. Uh, the other thing that I like about this Cowboy Studio setup, obviously you get the nifty bag, pretty much any kit you order is gonna come with a bag, but it's got these nifty little interlocking, instead of just being a twist lock, it's kind of like a snap lock and they're spring loaded. So if you don't have a hold of it, if your hand slips, whatever, it's got some spring retention there, so everything's not going to come crashing down. So it's a pretty good setup for a fairly decent price, $80. will get you the entire uh, crossbar section and the two stands, and it's much more durable. I really recommend that people stay away from those setups that you see that are like $30, $40 on Amazon.com because it's going to be a setup like this. And I actually use this as a flash stand, and it 
It also doubles as a backdrop holder, but I just don't like it. It doesn't have any kind of spring loading. You gotta spin these knobs to loosen it and it just drops down. It's very thin, it's very easy to get damaged, it's very easy to knock over, which isn't a good situation when you're trying to photograph a bunch of kids. Uh, just in case anybody's wondering, the backdrop that I had in place is this Savage uh, 107 inch gray seamless paper. Uh, we had to go that size because we're gonna be doing some group shots and so I needed that large of a backdrop. Normally I wouldn't use that large of a backdrop because it's just huge and you can see from this, transporting it is very difficult. It's paid in the butt. You have to have a truck or a huge SUV and even then you're gonna have, it, have to slide it all the way from the back to the front to get it to fit. It's not very heavy. I paid $65 for this on Amazon.com. But typically I use something much smaller like the 53 inch seamless paper. I use paper because I am lazy and I don't like to iron out wrinkles. And in this situation where we've got this high volume shoot, we're gonna be going over there, setting up one day, packing up, leaving, and going back and setting up on a second day. And I don't wanna deal with having wrinkles in the material. So uh, as far as backdrop went, this was our best option. It's quick, it's easy to set up, and we don't have to worry about it. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of information on backdrops. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.